One of the things that I miss uh, from America is milk. In America, we buy milk that's kept in plastic jugs. It's pasteurized, but uh, only to enough to kill the bacteria that, that live in it. And it has an expiration date on it. So a jug of milk in America will last in the refrigerator home about a week about one week. Here in the Philippines, the main source of milk is uh, in these boxes. It's about one liter, costs about a dollar sixty for a box. And this is reconstituted milk, powder, uh, milk fat, mono and diglycerides of fatty acids, emulsifier, and carrageenan, which is a stabilizer. It is ultra high temperature processed milk. So you can buy this at the store on the shelf. It's not cold. And it'll sit on the shelf for a year and it's still good. But it has a different taste. The ultra high temperature changes the taste and it is reconstituted milk from milk powder. It says farm fresh, but what does that mean? So they can put any, any kind of label they want onto it. Made with real cow's milk and it, it's real reconstituted powdered cow's milk. No preservatives added, high calcium and protein. So this is what it says about it. And some of these you can buy, they're fortified, they have vitamins added. And this is okay. If I want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a glass of milk, this is okay. But it's different. And it's, I still haven't gotten used to the flavor of the milk here. You can te definitely taste the difference. Fortunately, I have a neighbor who is a rare breed in the Philippines. He is a dairy farmer. He has a dairy farm here in Ormoc City, and he processes his own milk. He has a processing plant. Uh, he's building a new plant in Kananga. Uh, the one he's using now, he's renting uh, behind um, a car, a driving school. It's part of the property of a driving school, and also where they do automobile inspections. So it's not his property, it's not ideal, and so it makes their work a little more difficult. So now he can design his own plant where the workflow is more efficient. And his name is, my, my neighbor's name, I call him Jet, that's his nickname, J-E-T-T, -T, Jet. But his name is Tom. And so he has Tom's 100% local cow's milk, farm fresh milk. And he lives right next door, and he charges me 120 pesos per bottle. This is a one-liter bottle. It's about the same size as the box. You get the same amount of milk, maybe a little more, for 120 pesos. And it is good. It is really good. Here's a picture of his cows. He took me on a little visit to his farm. Uh, they weren't milking when I was there, so I didn't get to do much video. He's got a picture of his cows. And this is really good stuff. It's pasteurized, but it's not ultra high temperature milk. He also makes chocolate milk, and it is awesome. So this is, I think this is even better, even better than what I would get in America, because this is just right out of his farm. A day old, maybe. Now, he doesn't put an expiration on there. Maybe he'll do that later. So he's still developing his business. It's a tough business here in the Philippines. Because this is what people are used to. Most people don't um, buy a, a lot of milk. Uh, they think it's for kids. Uh, it, so there's the market is, is not really there yet for his product. He's having to develop a market for this himself. So that he got a little help from the government getting started. Uh, he had the land, and they gave him some milk cows. Right now he has about 20 milk cows. I think they gave him four or five milk cows to get him started, and they were pregnant. So he got babies out of that deal too. In the end, at some time in the future, he has to return those cows to the government, also pregnant cows. So it's, it's, not, a, it's not just a giveaway by the government. But the government would like to promote
food independence um, as much as they can here in the Philippines. Right now, the Philippines has to import a lot of food. They have a lot of farms here, but a lot of people to feed, and it's just not always possible to get everything you want that's grown in the Philippines. Right now, there's a shortage of onions. Um, white onions are only harvested in the Philippines once a year. So you got some things like that. Avocados aren't always available. So like in America, you go to the supermarket, you've got all your fruits and vegetables year-round. Here, it's not that way. Sometimes you have to wait for something to come in season, even at the Mercado. Uh, so but back to the milk. The milk is just really delicious. $1.20, 120 pesos, that's $2.40 per liter. It was about $10 a gallon for, for milk. But I really like it. I'm a milkaholic. So if you don't like milk, it's not probably a good deal for you. But I love milk. I grew up around dairy farms when I was a kid. My parents didn't own uh, a dairy farm, but my grandparents had milk cows. I learned how to milk a cow by hand. And I grew up working on farms, milking cows with milkers, pneumatic milkers. When I was a little boy, I learned how to do that. Probably eight or ten years old. Bringing the cows in from the pasture, walking in with them and uh, calling the cows. I know how to call a cow. My grandpa would call his cows in. He only had four cows to milk. They milked by hand. But he would start walking out in the morning and call the cows. Woo, so cow, so, so. And when they heard that, they knew it was time to come in for milking because they knew with that sound, they also got some fresh grain, some uh, ground corn. And they loved that. So they would come running. And uh, I remember walking out in the pasture with my fa uh, my grandfather, especially on a, a summer morning when the dew was on the ground. And my, I would wear my cloth, uh, basketball shoes, tennis shoes, whatever you call them, and they would get wet. Oh, I hated that. <laughs> but I liked hanging out with my grandfather. And so milk, I just grew up drinking milk. This is really good stuff. And uh, he's doing a good job with his farm. He... Uh, he provides milk to schools here in the Philippines. It's part of the deal with the government. Uh, since there's not a big market uh, for his milk right now, the government buys it and provides it to school children. So it's, it, helps, it helps the community what he's doing. And, uh, eventually, this will take hold in the Philippines and, and dairy farming will grow. But it's really good. Tom's local, 100% local cow's milk. Tom's 100% Local cow's milk. This is the chocolate milk. And this is whole milk. Don't look for any skim milk. It's going to be whole milk. This is in Ormoc City, Leyte, the Philippines. Uh, I don't know how many other dairy farms there are in the Philippines. I'm sure there are probably some somewhere that the government has helped get started. But here, this is where I get my milk. And I love it. Thanks for watching.